Okay, decent drive off the tee. We're gonna have about 130 in. 135. I'm playing old clubs, I'll show you those in a second. the club but uh, I think I started it right at the flag and the wind pushed it to the left so we got about 15 feet but we're probably chipping it okay so here we are like I said 10 10 to 12 yards off from the pin uh, I'm gonna hit a little sand wedge here this is not my original wedge or like my normal wedges it's technically the sand wedge from the set I'm playing which I'll show you um, what would you do in a, in a case like this? You've got three or four yards of actual, like, rough, but uh, would you take out the old Texas wedge and putt it? I'm gonna try to chip it, but I'm gonna hit it like I'm putting it. So let it bounce a couple of times. It's gonna be left to right, so hopefully land it like two or three feet to the left of the pin, let it roll in. Didn't hit it enough. It was probably still the right club. But now we gotta make this little putt here for par. First hole, I'm totally fine with a bogey, but let's get it. Surprisingly, the putt didn't move at all, even though it definitely should have been left or right, but whatever. Wow. 
That bounced like crazy, eh? Okay, let's take a look at the irons we have today. I'm playing Daiwa Tri Power Extra, whatever that means. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Really old, obviously. It's kind of like a cavity back, but it's nice. Come on. Focus or not? Here, I'll do it this way. There we go. Tri Power Extra. I like that toe heel balance, all right? But yeah, super old. Uh, they're nice. It's got my Haywood wedges. And then I'm using this pipe putter from Nikit. It's really easy to align because it's got this huge white bar. So I line it up. So far, so good. We'll see how that goes. You're in the shot, what are you doing? <laughs> So we're trying to get, I want to get no worse than plus 10 today uh, with my hurt wrist, well not hurt, healing, pretty much good to go, but I'm just playing with a brace just to be safe. Um, let's hope that it doesn't hinder me at all, just movement wise. I have had no pain, so that's good, but it is changing my shot. I generally hit draws. I have to hit either try to straight or fade it. And I'm also trying to slow my swing down a little bit just to keep it steady. So, so we're plus two through three. Um, the par fours, I really want to get pars on because they're pretty short, they're drivable. On that one, it was like 285. And I wasn't 50 yards short, I was 50 yards to the right of it, which is because of this stupid brace. So we'll get it sorted out. This hole has this hole has OB right, and now every time I go to hit on this shot, my brain is like OB OB. So I always end up pulling it to the left. I mean, it went decently straight. I like this three wood. Should have a wedge in anyways, no matter what. As long as I have a second shot and not a third shot, I'm happy. Okay, things ended up all right. We only got about. 
60 yards to the center. So it's just gonna be a little 60 bump. I don't think I'm very worried about the hill that's in front of it because I'm not gonna worry about bumping into it and stuff like that. I'm just gonna hit a high one. Hopefully don't land on the down slope. So I'm probably gonna aim a little bit past it. Looking to land about 45, I think. Let's see what we can do. 60 degree. We landed it uh, five yards past the pin. It rolled up. It's still on the green, so we'll have a putt for uh, birdie. was too hard and uh, I think it was good that we caught a little bit of that hole the line was good let's see if we can just finish that out it's a tiny bit right to the left if anything I think if I keep it in the cup it'll go in was a bad putt immediately pushed it that'll happen go a little bit. Ooh. All right, so if I had hit a 52, that probably would have been perfect if I landed it right there. So I needed to either give it a little bit more oomph or run it out a little bit with a 52. That was online. Oh. I can't decide if I was shorter in that bunker what a beautiful looking swing though huh okay so we we hit the bunker but I hope you can see um, without the contrast problem it's definitely unplayable we got no rakes here and it just looks like it got bombarded by missiles so I just brought it back to the point of entry we're gonna chip it on I can't believe that six iron didn't get there I should have probably hit that five again these clubs are definitely old lofts, so I need to get used to that. Whatever my yardage says to use, I have to just use a stronger, one iron stronger, I think. So let's ship this close. Pop a little 56 up there. It should roll out. I'm going to land it to the right.
was perfect, but again, I needed to give it a tiny bit more oomph. Just like a, you just need like a tiny bit more, like less arms and a little bit more body in that, and that'll get you the mass you need behind the ball. Dang it. But you know what? We got like six feet for par, so. when like you miss a putt but it was still a good putt because it was exactly the line I chose so I didn't hit a bad putt I can't blame the putter it was just a bad line but we got a bogey there so whatever left. Yeah, baby. Okay, so we had a good drive. We only got about 94, 91-ish yards left. I'm gonna full swing a 60. The wind is coming at us a tiny bit. So hopefully we can land it right in the middle where we want it. doing no practice swing because your first swing is always the best right
I just needed to give that putt for par a tiny bit more power. I always underestimate those tiny sliding like right to lefters or left to righters. So it looks like uh, through the front nine, we're plus six, I think, for sure. Um, if I didn't miss that one footer, obviously plus flat five. Uh, that's the only shot so far that I was upset with in the fact that like, maybe I didn't know the distance of these old clubs or like the putts I've all hit were online. That one was just a turn your brain off kind of moment. One foot right to lefter. You just miss those sometimes. So plus six, I can play the rest of the round. Plus four to stay at plus 10. We'll make it work. Um, I am running low on battery, so we'll see how far I can get. For some reason, I never charge the phones I want to use for the rounds. Um, okay, let's get at it. I, this part four, I just smashed it just below the green. So let's hope I can make that bad putt back right now with a birdie, because I would expect a par normally. So let's see what we can do. Just had that one dimple roll. Now we got a 10 footer. Okay, I said I'd be happy if I was on the green and we just rolled off, so I'm very unhappy. But let's two putt this, get our par, and try to make that shot back from the ninth somewhere else. Or make it. Always mark your ball before you uh, <laughs> go to hit it. I'm not going to count it. Um, and always. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay guys, so a huge slice, I'm on the wrong fairway. I actually went past the right fairway on that. It's pretty tight though. So uh, well, we're gonna hit a wedge in, but the funny story here is that even though I sliced it like like crazy slice, I hit another one just for fun to see if I could straighten it out. Nailed it dead straight and it only went past by like five yards. So this one's only five yards behind the one that went super straight. So I must've gotten a lot of, out of that one. Anyways, let's hit this wedge on. Not far, under 100 yards. Okay, it's time to make one back here. Probably not good to think about the past, but I gotta make that back from the ninth, so. I'll make this, and then we'll move forward.
That's a scary putt. All the way downhill. Let's see. If it rolled down here, it would go all the way off the front. That's all downhill. Okay, sorry about the highway beside the hole again. Uh, we came well short on this par three. We barely got over the water here. I think my brain turned off when I was picking my club. But we can chip it close. I'm gonna land it about 10 feet before the hole. Okay, we got about a foot and a half left. If I miss this putt, I quit. That's crazy. So I hit like a 260. Yeah, okay. I may already know the answer to this, but if you're having driver issues, I mean, heck, even three wood issues, off the tee, long ball issues, if you just hit a driving iron 260, 265, I mean, that's already above average I think for drivers for you know, people like me uh, I mean I just drove up 260 up on a par 4 I mean obviously a driver if I can catch it maybe I'll go way farther but do I need to does 260 265 on every hole starts average par 4 is maybe four, mid 400 400 plus you'd have a decent iron in what do you think? Or should I just be a man and practice a driver? Okay, here we are. I just realized that walking up the green, to the green, that the wind is a little bit in my face. So if I didn't have that in my face, we probably could have gotten the extra couple of yards to get right up there. So I think we're just gonna putt this. If we get it past, like this is for Eagle, so I'm happy, oh gosh. Just get me in that hoop, please. All right, we're in the hoop. probably tell by my body posture how unconfident I am over a one-footer it's just the worst that's why I always play with friends that have a nice circle of friendship around that thing They'll give me one footers so I don't have to worry about it I'll just chip it to that point give me the putt Okay, the good news is we had the yardage perfectly, but we sliced. So we still got about 40 yards or something to chip on. Let's do it. Let's 
try to make a par here. I read that left to right, and then for some reason when I looked down at it, I was like, there's no way this is going left to right. So I went right at it, and it went left to right. Always follow your heart. Okay, two feet. Let's get another par here. Just wasn't to be. Can fly. I'm pushing 260. Okay, accidentally drove the par four too far with my driving iron. Uh, totally fine with it. I will just hit a wedge here. Got no tree trouble. Knock it to within a few feet. Tap in birdie. No problem. about 10 feet dang oh man I just got no oomph today power basically Well, we almost killed the guys on the next tee box, but uh, we were pin high, so that's good. Uh, let's pop this close, keep it left of the hole, let it roll down a little bit. It's pretty uh, steep. yards too much to the left. Now I got a really hard downhill putt.
Okay, just the kind of putt I like. Two feet, left to right. I've been making these all day, right? That's still a bogey. I'll take it. where we end up really sorry about the lighting issue here but uh, we had that big slice but we're only 20 yards off the fairway to the right uh, I can barely see here 110 to the pin so the drives like even though they're slicing they're going pretty good again I hit another one hit it down the middle and it was actually shorter than this one so if I get a lot of it I mean as long as I don't have OB I'm good, but I don't want to be that guy that just kind of flails around a driver. I'd rather sacrifice 20 yards and get a driving iron down the center. It just looks better. Anyways, 110. down a little bit it's giving me a tiny bit more loft letting me cover it better let's see how close we are okay we came up a tiny bit short let's get this birdie though i don't know where we're at with the plus 10 thing i think we're okay as long as we two putt so let's hopefully get that done I hope this isn't for the plus 10. Because that's a lot of pressure. I knew I walloped that one. on the last. Let's see where that gets us. 